And I'm Robert Chris Fee, I go by Chris, and uh, I live here in St. George now. I'm originally from Los Angeles, and we've lived all over the place. Uh, I was married for 50 years and 15 days to Eve Evans, and uh, my story is about her and her parents. Um, Eve was a young girl when they lived in Winslow, Arizona, and uh, in the very early 1950s. I can't give you exact years like, because I'm not certain of some of the details of that, but they were there for several years in Winslow during the time when there were, um, there were a nuclear testing in Nevada, which of course had their, the, the wind blew over their way. But this was unknown to them at the time. This was a time of great fear of nuclear weapons were developing, great fear of the Soviet Union. Um, the, uh, uh, there was uh, concern about protecting ourselves should we ever be attacked. So my wife's father, Elvin Evans, uh, with his wife and, and little daughter, they just had one child, um, he was, they, in their little home in Winslow, he was actually building a bomb shelter, uh, d digging it out f from their basement so that they would have a bomb shelter if ever that they should be attacked, they might be protected and, uh, from the bomb and from nuclear fallout. All during the time that this was happening, uh, while he, they were doing that, what they didn't know is that nuclear fallout was falling on them all the time. It was in the grass that the cows ate and they drank the milk in that and it was in basically everything that they had around them, but this was unknown at the time um, and unknown for, at least to them, for many years afterwards. Um, the uh, um, over the years, in a number of years, because most many of these things take many years to have effects of them, um, they uh, were, my wife developed breast cancer when she was 30, uh, 32 years old. Let me see if I've got that right. It was in 1980. No, it would have been 37 years old. She would have been then. In 1980, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And of course, even at that time, we didn't think of anything in relationship to downwinder, this sort of thing. We were living in California at the time. Um, we, we had both gone to school in Utah, but then gone off to living in other parts of the country. It was big news in Utah, the, the protecting of the downwinders and even uh, benefits for, uh, for them uh, ultimately. But being out of the area, we never heard of that. It was just not something that was substantially covered in other parts of the country. So she developed breast cancer there, and uh, fortunately, um, she was treated for that and had it uh, apparently gone for 35 years. And 35 years uh, later, in 2015, it had come back very apparently it's very unusual for that to come back after that period of time and uh, by then it was throughout her spine and her hips and she had about another year and a half and she passed away this last September from that just past our 50th anniversary during that interim time when it appeared that her breast cancer was gone her mother also had breast cancer and had an operation to remove that and uh, it was, uh, she never knew that to come back again. She ended up dying of Parkinson's disease. And her father developed a blood condition, and I don't remember what they called it initially, but it evolved into leukemia. And so he had leukemia before he finally died. In 2006, we had just, were barely moving back into Utah after having been, well, I had never really lived here except for going to school. And um, we were in um, doing some, out from doing some walking in the, in the town of uh, Fillmore and uh, stopped to use the facilities there. And uh, while my wife was using the facilities, I was just passing the time reading things on the bulletin board and that sort of thing. And there was an old faded note on the window about uh, compensation for downwinders, and it said the years and the 
and the counties and places that you had to have been. When she came out, I, I said to her, isn't this where you lived when you were a, a kid on that? And so we looked at it carefully together and she said it was. We, um, we, uh, um, we pursued that. We, had to leave, we were leaving on a, a mission for our church in, in just a few weeks and we uh, uh, had to scurry around, made a quick trip to California. We had to prove a lot of things, but we filed claims for both my wife and her father and her mother. And uh, after we had gone overseas, ultimately those claims were, were approved there. It was amazing that we were able to pull together the, the proof that we had to prove, prove on that, but it just, just did work uh, out, uh, out uh, that way. Looking back on it now, uh, I think Eve would concur with me in saying, we know the people who were doing that testing weapons meant no harm. We think they went by, by the best knowledge that they had at the time, but ultimately it harmed an awful lot of people and it harmed her family. And, and I feel the loss now, you know, just so many, I mean, uh, more than a half a century after that, I'm feeling the, uh, the pain of having just lost her eight months ago. And uh, from several indications and in the timing of the, of the diseases, uh, the, the uh, oncologist that we worked with at one time uh, indicated that he felt certainly that looked like this was, was caused by the downwind uh, problem. So it was a tragic uh, event, um, perhaps unavoidable but maybe we can avoid something in the future.